Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan. Whoa, whoa. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. Today we're actually going to do a quick video on how to know if you're in ketosis or how to tell if you're in ketosis or how you can see if you're in ketosis. So basically, real quick, whoa, can I wear my glasses? That's like really bright right there. Can you see that? Welcome to the flex zone. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. This is the no flex zone. So, a couple quick things real quick. If you're a guy, I would use a sports bottle. Pee inside a sports bottle. If you're a girl, pee inside a cup. Do not drink in the cup afterwards. That's disgusting. Use a designated disposable cup because you're going to be peeing in it all the time. Wash it out. Wash your hands. Be super sanitary. That stuff's important for sure. Um, the next thing is you're going to, I should have said this first, you're going to go get these ketosis strips. Rely on's a good brand. Um, go pick these up at Walmart. They're like six bucks. Literally at the grocery store by my house, they're like 20. So shop around for sure. And if you can't find them cheaply uh, near you on this brand, there's tons of brands, Amazon, everybody's got them. So basically, if you can see that, there's a little grid here and it says negative amounts, and then it goes 5, 15, 40, 80, and 160. So what this is actually doing, your stick, once you pee on it or dip it into pee, um, it's actually going to turn a color. See how that's a little bit of a color? You can't probably can't see that very well. It's not very dark. But it's like a 5, which means trace amounts. The next step would be small amounts. The step after that would be moderate. Usually, for me, um, I am, after about three days, I can get into a full-blown moderate, but that's really as high as I ever go. Your body's going to be totally different depending on uh, what you, hold on one second, one second. Damn, air conditioner is on, it's all loud. Your body's going to be totally different depending on what works best for you or how your body reacts. If you're in negative for three or four days, maybe five days even, uh, you need to start looking at what you're eating. Something's off um, because you, can, you should go into ketosis two, three days, four or five days max. Um, so basically, that's all you gotta do. You pee on the stick and the reason I use the sports bottle or the cup is because uh, instead of peeing all over your hands, <laughs> it's a hell of a lot better peeing inside a unit and then just dipping it in there, hold it in there for 15 seconds and uh, you're gonna be able to pull it out and then just match up the color. Usually within, uh, if you're small or moderate, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Um, most people don't ever go into the full blown. Uh, you just, you're just kind of testing. It's one of those things like weighing yourself or measuring yourself. It's slightly addictive, but for six bucks you get 50 sticks, so it lasts you a couple weeks even if you're testing like crazy. Test, 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 test. Anyway. Next thing, if you can't afford those keto sticks, which is perfectly understandable, there's many, many times that I can't even go get them because I don't have the six bucks. Um, this probably sounds gross, but if you smell your pee when you're not on in ketosis, meaning when you're eating a regular diet, and remember that smell, your smell of urine is going to st smell totally different when you're in ketosis. Those ketones give off a pretty bad odor. Um, kind of like if you ever ate asparagus and you have really stinky pee. Um, it's kind of like basically the same thing. So uh, you can definitely tell. I am pretty good at being able to tell if I'm in ketosis just by the smell of it. And I know that sounds really bad, but that's just, I know, that's the nature of the beast. Another thing is a lot of people... I don't have this issue myself, and I may be just telling myself that, but a lot of people are going to have bad breath, really, really bad breath. So if you breathe into somebody's face, um, I think it was, who was it, Debbie or Jackie or somebody, I think it was Debbie. Debbie, you said that you had, um, your husband was your breathe tester, bless his heart. <laughs> just kidding but um, somebody can definitely smell your breath before and then smell your breath when you think you're in ketosis and you could probably tell the difference with most people so um, also another thing is some people say your skin smells um, 
I, I don't really experience that, but there's a lot of people that do believe that that's actually a real thing, which is okay. Um, for me, I've never had that issue. Uh, I will say, Debbie, huge shout out today. Um, you just said something really positive on my Be Stronger Than Your Excuses video um, that I just posted a little while ago that I'm going to experience great success and stuff. Um, that's really awesome because I'm putting my heart and soul into this. I know all of my videos aren't perfect. Um, I'm doing my best. Um, I got work, school, and kids and everything so I got this big trip coming up and stuff so I'm really 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 trying really hard for you guys I want you guys to just bear with me be patient sometimes my videos aren't the greatest but I try to get the message that's important across you guys if you're just joining us please check out our Facebook group healthy living for a healthy life I hope this video was helpful if it was please do me a favor uh, so I can make more videos like this and inspire and hopefully help people along your journey uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'll put a link in this to, in the video here to a 30-day challenge and then a 10-day challenge. And subscribe is going to be somewhere around here. I always screw it up. I'm always like, subscribe up here and the damn thing over knows up over here. Because like when I play my video, it's like reversed and it's all flipped up. Anyway, so you guys have a beautiful day. Remember to spread love, not hate, and have a beautiful day. I already said that. How many times are you going to say have a beautiful day? Hey, guys. Have a beautiful day. Peace.